In this video we share prophecies of blessed Anne Catherine Emmerich for today. The following prophecy to Anne Catherine Emmerich is from October 4, 1820. When I saw the church of St. Peter in ruins and the manner in which so many of the clergy were themselves busy at this work of destruction, none of them wishing to do it openly in front of the others, I was in such distress that I cried out to Jesus with all my might, imploring his mercy. Then I saw before me the heavenly spouse, and he spoke to me for a long time. He said, among other things, that this translation of the church from one place to another meant that she would seem to be in complete decline. But she would rise again, even if there remained but one Catholic, the church would conquer again, because she does not rest on human counsels and intelligence. It was shown to me that there were almost no Christians left in the old acceptation of the word. October 7, 1820 As I was going through Rome with St. Francis and the other saint, we saw a great palace engulfed in flames from top to bottom. I was very much afraid that the occupants would be burned to death because no one came forward to put out the fire. As we came nearer, however, the fire abated and we saw the blackened building. We went through a number of magnificent rooms, untouched by the fire, and we finally reached the Pope. He was sitting in the dark and slept in a large armchair. He was very ill and weak, he could no longer walk. The ecclesiastics in the inner circle looked insincere and lacking in zeal, I did not like them. I told the Pope of the bishops who are to be appointed soon. I told him also that he must not leave Rome. If he did so, it would be chaos. He thought that the evil was inevitable and that he should leave in order to save many things beside himself. He was very much inclined to leave Rome, and he was insistently urged to do so. The Pope is still attached to the things of this earth in many ways. The Church is completely isolated and as if completely deserted. It seems that everyone is running away. Everywhere I see great misery, hatred, treason, rancor, confusion and utter blindness. O city! O city! What is threatening thee? The storm is coming, do be watchful. Blessed Anne Catherine Emmerich was born into a large and poor family. She had to work the farm at an early age. She was drawn to the religious life and eventually joined the Augustinian nuns. She had visions as a child where she talked with Jesus. She had supernatural insight when working with the sick and poor. She also had the stigmata. She was a model of heroic virtue for her contemporaries, and for us today. One of her visions led a priest to discover Mary's house in Ephesus, which at that time, Ephesus had not yet been discovered. Several popes have visited the house discovered and thought to be Mary's, and Pope John Paul II beatified her in 2004. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.